Assuming that that's what they're going to do, well, they might find a bit of a rude surprise. Nikodas first contact. This is mostly a bait to set up. Oh, the kills coming on in. Nikodas and Mezzi not quite getting everything they wanted, but Nikodas will make it at least a favorable situation for his teammates. Bomb needs to be recovered. Players are watching for this, and that's a great shot from Fasher. Good crosshair placement. All on a friend now. On that in a few minutes. But for an update in this round, one on three, Crims on the angle, easy as can be. And Fnatic. Let's see what we've got going. Pressure on towards A. There's two bodies to respond. Nico does to rotate in. It should be a decent hold here. Up for the CTs and early results are promising. It's a spray down of Annihilation. The bomb dropped down and the round is swift. That's for dark. They're going for dark control. This is a m crazy setup. Look at this. Oh, they're never going to expect Roy. They're never going to expect Roy. Why would you? Because it's a crazy setup. Congrats. That's a nice shot from Fasher. Nice little stack. Fnatic and Trixie with it here towards this B defense. And there's some uh, little hobbitses coming their way. Two of them, to be exact. That flashbang's good, but not for the second. And, well, friend, he's done for. Had to come into the angle of Mezzi. One by one, losing the numbers. Ooh. Big kill out. Nikodaz and Krims. Gonna get those done, and this one's looking pretty comfortable. It's just left to be Alani. I don't think... He's getting anything out of this one. It's nice to see Nikodos getting warmed up after... Did have a rough uh, series earlier. Yeah, huh? yeah. He's had, he's had a hard day so far. And... Ability going to sail on over in towards the site, but Fasher takes the first step, and that confirms the bomb presence as well. So he's tucked in. His teammate Nikodos keeping him clean, and this is a great setup. I'll get a couple. He knocks some nice pistol work, but it just doesn't matter in the long run. Is he? So far, it's, it's domination, Alan. They have no info really on towards A. Oh, Fasha. Oh, great timing. timing. And that's all the confirmation they need. Rotate should be thick and fast. They are coming. Messi overwhelmed, though. He gets one damage onto a second. Can the op get into the angle? Oh, Crims is just here the entire time. Crims is just chilling, and it's left a one very wounded b -nox. And wow, it may take Crims a second to realize where he is. Hey, guys. Make sure to check out Cisco Fast, the oldest website in the industry. Cisco Fast has many cool price raffles, daily bonuses, and gifts for regular users. Their website has the biggest variety of different modes, including PvP modes, such as Classic, where you try to play versus other players, or PvE modes, such as X50, Poggy, Crash, and many other, including my favorite game, Tawa, where you try to climb to the top, and the higher you get, the higher is the reward. Here, as an example, with just $5, I managed to get all the way up and got $212 as the reward. So guys, if you want to play on CSGO fast, don't forget to use my code VLADO to get $1 for free on your balance. Link to CSGO fast will be in the description below. Roy has a shooting gallery on the other side, but he's just going to leave that alone. Second thought. Let's not. Let's not deal with that at all. Fasher can kill everybody. And uh, Fasher will do exactly that. Clean it around for Fnatic. A lot of damage taken. Nothing consequential. And it doesn't feel like we've had much from Pact in the last few. You know, even on rounds like these where... Where maybe... Nikonis. He's got Roy close at hand as well. There's confirmation. There's the spot. There's the rotations coming in. And Fasher haven't given it up. Seems like he wants to play retake. But Roy will dance around the pillar. To the tune of one kill. So retake it is. The molly starts to come in from Nico Dawes. It's flames on the bomb itself. Need to wait for these smokes to fade. And there it is. There's the first blow. Looking for the follow-ups here as well. A seasoned friend trying to hold off, trying to avoid getting drawn into the firefights. They've got decent positions for this, but they still need to hit their shots, and that's the play. Off of one another, coordination there on point, but now their positions are known. They still have to be cleared out. Nikodos stuck. 
just can't inch forward. He's going to try and save his up. And this round is going the way of the Dodo. Is he just, he's just in a pact right now with them. Everyone to die to the bomb. But no, shit, man. T-side hopping is hard on this map. I get it going after the half switch. Oh, no. Not in this round, though. He's been nailing it down. He's done for it. He's gone. Fasher looking for more. Fasher finding more. Fasher. No mercy here. Immediate response from Fnatic. Oh, you went around? Oh, you went around? That's cute. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That one comes from the intro to a Maxis game called Pharaoh. Great game. Strongly recommend. Lunatic. Lone V4. Uh, I think he's feeling a bit crazy in this one. There was no way out. They're not moving. They should know. They should have known. Immediately. Mm -hmm. Those were the two A players. Maybe they, they were afraid that the alt might be there. Now they know Nikodos isn't. Oh, the spray down from Lunatic. Gonna keep this round in doubt. The bomb's so far back, though. He's got the sight. And Bialani's just making his way in towards mid. The bomb is down. What's the plan here? They're gonna fight into mid. Oh, if they catch Bialani, this is such a tough spot remaining. And there it is. Now, what are you gonna do? Lunatic has to go all the way back out through A main, find the C4, get back to A site, and plant it. Lunatic has just been let down by his teammate. I don't know what you're doing wandering around in mid like that when the C4 needs to make its way to a plant. Roy has wondering why haven't they planted, and he's about to find out why. Oh, oh, there it is. Hey, what? one shot for Lunatic. He brings it down to the 1v1. He's found four kills already. This would be the ace, but he's got his pick of the sights. He's got his pick of them. Back in the donut. He's going to have an engagement with Fasher if he hits the shot. If he hits the shot, but back exposed, and that's going to be one to the back of the head. Fasher, of course, is the so close to making that happen. Such an incredible effort from him. The final kill snatched away. How did he kill Roy? How? Whoa. Being quick. Right eye peek. Flicking fast. Ooh, pretty far. And Fasher finally gets the better of him. Exactly what he was hoping for. It's a rotation off in the meantime. They're going to pressure in towards A. They're going to pressure in towards Donut. And as Crims finds one, he's a little overwhelmed. Mezzi, out of position, needs to get back through. A chance at a bomb plant. Even numbers. Sorry, an advantage with a very wounded Fasher. But the plant denied, and time is just too short. They cannot win this round. Purely on the clock, they cannot win this round. 12 to 3 will take us through. All of a sudden, find out what's going to happen. Pressure on through. Straight into the site they go. No time being wasted. Bialani getting overwhelmed, but he's good for it. He's good for it. Two huge kills. Fasher, the monster of B, is already dead and done, and they've already got a player pushing through window as well. But b going to have that duel with the duelies at range. And this is getting rough. This is getting wild. They're being pinched by the duelies. It's quaddies <laughs> to condense. That's all falling apart. Yeah, right. We'll be chewed apart. Okay. Well. Double push. Double push. This could be huge. This is what the round rides upon. Disease <gasps> oh. and Pialani. They're looking for it, but they've not oh. got the kills. Grims. Grims holds strong. The shield wall built here for Fnatic. And they are invading straight on towards the site. Pressure on friend. He'll find one, but no more. Now with that, you'd imagine Lunatic's got to make the save call. He nearly pulled off an ace in the first, but this one's not a doable situation. So he's out of there. He's backed off. And Fnatic climbed to 13. And he won't even save the gun. They're making the right read. They're all coming to the right spot. This is going to get kind of risky. Ooh, there's the spot. He could all down. And, uh, well... They're not going to get any guns. I was going to say, if Roy drops... What's he want to do? Oh, did, oh. The kill on friend would be huge. That would be the most impactful. But he's going to wait for the rotator instead. He's going to catch Lunatic. And now, friend has to whip around. It's such chaos here. So he's going to miss the first player across. But that actually works in his favor. Krim's now down. They're trying to plant. They're trying to get something done here. But they don't have util for this spot. Beanox. He won't deny the plant. But he's right up on them. Oh, Nikodos. What a snappy shot. Holding the line. All falls to Roy. Trying to play for this defuse smoke now up to obscure his angle. Molotov does nothing. Can wait for the top to come through and he's got the first. First contestant eliminated. Second 
already on the bomb, and I don't know if Roy realizes it. He thinks he's killed him. He thinks he's killed the diffuser, but they're on the other side. Of course they are. And so Pact will live yet another day. No need to panic. Another buy coming out. There they are. Basher, right into the fray, right into the fight. He's got one looking for the second he's got it as well. They're trying to play a patient game here. And, well, that will work, but at what cost, Lunatic? At what cost? A cost he's willing to pay. A cost he's willing to pay, and he's burning alive, so he'll pay more. A pound of flesh and another on top of it. This one is rough. Oh. Being planted here. The spam is good for Venox. This one keeps going back and forth. It's like a pendulum. And friend adds another piece, another swing. All on Nico does now. All on Nico does. He's got the rifle. He's also got Beanox completely blindsided, and Lunatic is low. He's on the angle. He's been spotted. You go back. But he's just continue forward on the fight because he realizes they're all together here. He knows where the last is. He's pushed the up off the angle. Friend wants to flash his way in. No longer the op, just the rifle now. And you could always passed him. He could always given him the slip. And he could always with the bomb. He's planning it down. Friend advances forward. Who's got the check? Who's got the shot? It's all Nico. The 1v3 clutch comes to fruition. Nico does on top. This isn't Counter Strike. This is a cage match, and the claws are out. Vicious from either side. But Nico Dos. Perfectly played. Bells his teammates out where they slipped up. Look at this. Couldn't have been better. On we go. On we go. Lone Aids by. One man to the lesser already. Packed. Making a go of this. A more conservative team might have halved here, but they feel like they've got them right on the ropes. So they just want this last kill and they can't find it. Line up there for friend. The Creeko does. Crimso does? I have questions. Beanock has answers. And apparently, all of them. It's flawless in this one as Mad Dogs packed. Now, continue their path to an attempt at overtime. But again, this is so reminiscent to what they themselves were on the other side of last map. It just feels like any one of these rounds could be the unraveling, could be the moment where it all goes to pot. And Fnatic just. They gotta go if they're gonna do it. They gotta go. And in they go. Three players close at hand. Aziz with a prime opportunity here. He won't be able to get anything done, but a boost up over the smoke. Do they spot? They do. Crims has seen it as well, but he can't get the shot in. There's the kill. Roy takes down the bottom of the pillar. The bottom of the stack and a three-on-three -three post plant. This one could be it. There's precious little utility here for Pact. They need to do it with the guns. And they're down to just two. They're down to just two. It's all unraveling here at the critical moment, at the critical juncture. Lunatic and friend. Who's going to step up? The nade is good. The kill, better. They expect Fasher behind the pillar as well. They expect him to be stuck in towards the site. They do not. Not at all. And Fasher will put this one to rest. Fittingly enough, he was the monster of B all first half long. And he puts it away in the second.